And we'll begin 9 a.m. with some breaking news coming in at this moment. Paralympic Committee of India President Rajesh Tomar has been suspended. Tomar, remember, has been removed over the Ghaziabad Paralympic Championship camp controversy. The official stands suspended on charges of mismanagement. That's the story that we are breaking at this moment. Radhika Tongar now joins us on the phone line. Radhika, who has taken this decision and why did it take so long? And what really was the, was the case against Mr. Tomar? Yes, Sanket. In fact, you know, when the national championships did take place in Ghaziabad and the way that uh, all the athletes, the national athletes were treated, the unhygienic conditions, the unfurnished environment, the sports ministry had taken to it very seriously and they had asked a report uh, from the Paralympic Committee of India, which had then set up a three-member committee, which was uh, headed by Justice J.K. Mehra. Now, this committee has uh, seen what's transpired. They have looked through the conditions and, in fact, there's been a case of misappropriation of funds uh, within the Paralympic Committee as well. Now, that is a separate case, of course, over which several members have been suspended as well. But as far as Rajesh Tomer is concerned, he was the head of the uh, Paralympic Committee of India. And uh, it has been found that uh, all the responsibility for the fiasco at Ghaziabad needs to be, the responsibility needs to be taken by the chairman. And this committee has evaluated everything. It has taken time, like you mentioned, obviously, the games happened uh, a month or so ago and a lot of athletes had spoken against it. But yes, finally, a decision has been taken and uh, it is the committee, the Paralympic Committee of India has decided and it is the chairman, Rajesh Tomar, who has been suspended for everything that went wrong in Ghaziabad. Right, but then what really about the other officials? Because, you know, just pinning down the blame on one person because he's at the head uh, uh, or, or, you know, at the head of that particular committee is not uh, something that is going to solve the problem. I mean, if suppose if there were another head and this apathy continues, this the systemic apathy. Uh, we'll come across to you, uh, Radhika, in just a short moment. We have Girisha joining us on the phone line at this moment. Girisha, uh, can you tell us uh, what really is this? Uh, I mean, uh, are you satisfied with this particular decision? Do you feel that this uh, is uh, the best way to address this problem? Yeah, uh, because you know, uh, I'm an athlete, I'm not an official of the PCA. Yes. But when PCA, uh, you know, uh, officials take a decision, that time I also attended as a special, uh, you know, guest like uh, invitee. Hello. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Please go ahead. Yeah, that time they were discussed about uh, Rajesh Tomar uh, and also discussed about Gajiabad uh, National, uh, you know, uh, flop event, you know. So that time, uh, actually, Paralympic Committee of India, Secretary General, and uh, you know, uh, CEO, both are given report to Rajesh Tomar. You know, uh, Ghaziabad is the not a good place to organize the event. Also, uh, UP organizers also given uh, you know uh, letter to uh, Paralympic Committee of India. You know, uh, President, they are not able to organize the event. Uh, you know, in this uh, place. That time, Rajesh Tomar pressurized he should organize the event. Otherwise, I will be take you know, uh, uh, action. So that's why they are organized. Then, when you know, go, uh, when it was going happening, that time also Rajesh Tomar uh, they are not went for the uh, uh, national event. They are not seen the uh, organization. And one thing is, uh, this is the fact. And one more, uh, you know. Uh, Without the committee discussion, he only uh, taken decisions to organize the you know, first open uh, Indian Para Games in uh, New Delhi. Uh, in May, they are organizing. Who given? Government of India, Disabled Welfare giving 20 crore rupees for the organize the event. Also, Ministry of mm. Sports, Youth Affairs, they are also supporting for the, this event. But they are not, uh, you know, our president not discussed to uh, committee. And you only take condition, this is all things, uh, uh, you know, that's why they are removed. Okay, uh, but Girisha, do you think that this, uh, after the media highlighted this particular story and uh, the plight of really the players uh, who were humiliated, the athletes who were humiliated, this is some sort of a step or do you think that this is nothing but, uh, you know, a sort of a smoke screen, a sort of... Uh, instant solution that the management has in fact offered suspend a few people get the heat off and you know apathy will continue in the future as well what is it the systemic change that you feel should be there to end the apathy sir i think uh, it will be changed uh, in a uh, few days because you know uh, this time only happening uh, was uh, uh, going on like that uh, 
in 2013 we organized one the na- one national event in bangalore mm-hmm. so uh, through paralympic sports academy of india i started this academy and also i organized the event that time no issues i uh, you know uh, 1700 athletes participated that time but that time we given a good accommodation good uh, facilities everything but this time they are not uh, given to athletes because of president's uh, fault why president pressures to organize the you know organizers to you should organize the event otherwise it will be problem for us but they are uh, given report to uh, our president why you are uh, no this is a good place to organize the event but they are only pressure no but then he uh, went back silently i don't know i don't know they are only organizers problem they are saying so this uh, this thing showing our president you know misleading the committee and misleading the athletes all right uh, girisha many thanks for joining us at this moment uh, so this is uh, as far as the athletes are concerned some sort of relief for uh, these athletes but uh, uh, particularly to that humiliation that was meted out to them but uh, will it actually or is it actually going to solve any big issue on the ground uh, what how will that apathy really end let's first uh, quickly show you this presentation at this moment as to what exactly was the charge what had happened a fortnight ago we put them down as far as various apathy indicators are concerned what happened in gaziabad when the paralympics committee organized this event apathy indicator number 1 inedible food was actually served to athletes as this picture actually shows you so these are the athletes paralympic athletes who were treated this particular way apathy indicator number 2 was the lack of clean drinking water you can see how these athletes are having to drink water using uh the water that comes from the tap directly and gaziabad is not particularly known for very clean tap water apathy indicator number 3 non functional toilets and that is the sort of toilets that uh, the athletes were made to use where there was broken pots broken cistern uh, absolute state of shock at that moment uh, for the athletes apathy indicator number 4 there were no beds for the athletes so you had uh, uh, about uh, 140 of them cramped up in a small room and that too on the floor so there were no beds for these athletes in that particular uh, building apathy indicator number 5 where uh, there were certain provisions that were made for beds uh, they were basically just tables joined together uh, inside a library that's how athletes were made uh, to sleep in that building apathy indicator number 6 there are seven in all apathy indicator number 6 was how athletes were cramped into tiny rooms as we told you as many as 140 of them were cramped in a small room making it absolutely difficult for them to live and apathy indicator number 7 the visuals that we have in fact been showing you on the screen right now no ramps for the specially able the media when it reported this story this plank was actually put and that too it was so steep that these athletes had a huge problem going up into the building they had to be lifted and uh you know escorted to their particular rooms radhika tonger is still on the phone line with us uh, radhika you know the real question actually remains what actually is going to change on the ground if tomorrow there were to be another event similar to this to be held will the apathy continue and just the suspension of the head is it going to send out that uh, strong message to the babus who actually carried out this sort of arrangement Uh, yes and state in fact you're raising a very good question there is a lot of infighting as far as the paralympic committee is concerned that also that we need to understand it was in fact rajesh tomar who few days ago in a meeting had suspended five members of the paralympic committee of india following this controversy and controversies of misappropriation of funds and in a meeting which was held here on sunday in bangalore that is when the rest of the executive committee members decided to do away with rajesh tomar so obviously there's a lot of infighting within the association as well uh, everybody trying to to put the blame on each other what changes on the ground is something that needs to be seen we needs to be it needs to be seen if the sports ministry does come in and take some sort of an action as well because once the story was reported they did want a report from the paralympic committee they did talk about it but after that nothing really changes much on the ground yes i 
at the moment uh, there are like six members of the committee which have been suspended and new members will be formed but again like you mentioned it will be the same executive committee which will vote to get in the new members so they will come from the body which already exists so probably new members were supported by people in the body that currently forms the Paralympic Committee of India and like you mentioned obviously the capital is also slated to host uh, some sort of a Paralympic championship in May so yes will the conditions be better will this new committee try to do things for the athletes uh, it is an important question but it is after all sanket the same group of people who will organize it uh, let us see if things change if the sports ministry does try to bring in some sort of a person you know overlooking the entire thing but at the moment yes the picture is that there are like some six members of the committee who've been suspended including the chairman rajesh tomar uh, for the fiasco that happened in gaziabad absolutely radhika tonger many thanks for joining us at this moment so uh, as far as the athletes humiliated story is concerned the paralympic body has suspended the head that is rajesh tomar he has been removed after the games bungle tomar was suspended over the para athletics uh, the treatment of these athletes paralympic committee of india president rajesh tomar suspended